History brings us back to the significant events of the past. It usually brings us back to the setting, place, striving, defeats, triumphs of an individual, community, and society in general. History always brings us back to place and all the people which we have started. It is almost 43 years when the seat of Christendom in Rome announced that Masmati would independently exist as a diocese. Knowing and being grateful of the past, the diocese basking over the achievements and fruits of the past years continue to make a clear vision of the future. She moves along clear and new perspectives drawn from the call and signs of times. And as the diocese continue to discover her essential characteristics as a local church, she never forgets that her present was the product of the expeditions and missions from the past. Now let us take a glimpse of those challenging and humble beginnings. The dawn of the Catholic faith in the island province of Masbate is a long and tall order. Masbate is found at the center of the Philippines archipelago, a province, a home to people of diverse cultures and multiple dialects. Masbate together with its two islands, Burias and Tikau, is surrounded by friendly sea waters, which has been a road passed by, by ships going south and going north, then and now. Way back 400 years before the province, wind experienced the complete air of independence as a diocese. The Spanish galleons passed by on each seas and anchored on its shores. From this passing, anchoring, and stopping, the seed of faith was planted and began to bloom. In 1569, Masbatenius had her first encounter with Christianity in the persons of Augustinians who were among from the south and then passed through Masbate to Sorsogon, then to Kamali and finally reached Nabua. And in 1578, for the second time, Masbatenius received their second evangelization to faith in the persons of the Franciscans. Masbatenius experienced several acid tests from the hands of different surrogates who took turns to nourish and nurture them in their own ways to present. Masbate, together with the whole provinces of Bicol, was part of the Diocese of Cáceres, created by Pope Clement VIII, way back on August 14, 1595. And when Cáceres was elevated to Archdiocese on June 29, 1951, Masbate became part of the Diocese of Sorsogon which was elevated to diocese on that same day by Pope Pius XII. Through a papal bull on March 23, 1968, Pope Paul VI canonically made the province of Masbate a separate diocese with its own bishop whose seat was and is in the capital town of the province. Saint Anthony of Padua became the patron saint of the new diocese. The diocese of Maswati had its first bishop installed in the person of the most reverend Porfirio R. Iligan, a native of Insundaet. On September 25, 1968, at the parish church of Saint Anthony of Padua, which became the cathedral church. From that time on, Bishop Iligan, together with 21 diocesan priests and nine sisters, began 
to labor and work hard for the new diocese. Gargantuan projects were established in the diocese during Bishop Milligan's time. Among these projects, and to mention the few, the Diocesan Commission on Religious Formation was established. This is the main trust of the Diocese Evangelization and Catechesis. Another project in 1979 was established, the Daughters of St. Joseph and the Diocesan Nunnery. Third, the Pastoral Center which housed the Offices of Social Action, Chancery, Lay Apostolate, Vicar General, and Bishop's Office. St. Anthony Seminary was founded during his term in 1971 to train future priests for the growing diocese. Construction of a Laipadi, a three-story building, now named Bishop of Ferry Elite Memorial House. This three-story building housed the clergy gatherings, retreats, and meetings, and conferences in the diocese. Another building was established the priest's house in Mubu, built for retired and old priests, founded also in his time the two Catholic schools, the Seo de Masuave and the Seo de Baleno. The hard-working bishop served gladly and accomplished many things for the growth of Masuave's local church until he retired. There is a time for every season under the sun, a time to take and a time to give. April 2, 1998, a new and second bishop of Masbati was installed in the person of the Most Reverend Joel Z. Bailon. Under his coat of arms, Subduum Presidium, the new bishop began his work in the diocese. His first two years were a series of pastoral visits he strengthened and established more basic ecclesial communities, the BEC. Along the years, the local church of Masbate bore fruits, grew bigger, and eight more parishes were established and added to the original 21. Now it is 29. Sensitive to the sign of times, the new bishop, Bishop Bailon, established programs that would help address the need of the poor and the environment. These programs are the Mumho or the Crumbs, the adaptation of the dice of Manila's Pundo ng Pinoy. Another one is the Yakapatilibudan, Shout for the Environment. This is a call for everyone to participate as stewards of God's creation. But after 11 years, in the year 2009, Bishop Ballon was called by the Vatican to serve the Diocese of Legaspi. At present, the Diocese is administered by Monsignor Claro Vicaluya III. The Diocese of Masbate, from its humble beginning, learned and was nurtured by her surrogates, now continue to grow and stand still.